Okay, so this is first day of the new block. I've got some sort of yieldy lower body stuff, various sort of rotation and bendy bits for the torso, and then just follow up with like upper body hypertrophy push. Uh, so here we've got lunge ice to hold with some knee prying, working inside outside, getting into valgus positions, pushing the knee way forwards, just trying to build some tolerance in the joints for athletic positions. Uh, next up, we've got a uh, more ankle dominant ISO, but also plenty of quad action. Trying to force the knee forwards as I go, um, and trying to feel the weight nicely dis distributed across the whole of that foot, or across the whole, whole of the sort of metatarsal head region. Uh, here, this is the only bit of the whole thing done at normal speed. This is just a nice little change of direction drill, practicing yielding into that hip, and then getting out again. And slowly, slowly learning to sort of twist and get into that side as I go. Uh, this is overhead side bend. It's something I picked up from an old Brian Olsen video. Um, him being a freak, managed to do it with a 20 kilo Olympic bar. Uh, this little eight kilo women's weightlifting learner's bar is more than enough. Trying to, first um, variant, trying to get the hips right across. Second time, just trying to get the rib cage to open up at one side. Uh, this one, this is upper body rotation paired with lower body um, isometric with the adductors. And if you feel a little fast to the end, it's into the hypertrophy portion. We've got incline bench, 75, first I've got 12. All the big lifts uh, in week one, just trying to leave free in the tank and a little bit closer to failure on the isolations. Uh, these have got pause dips, doing a five count in the bottom. Uh, trying to get the most juice out of the most stimulative portion, which for the dip is the bottom portion. Uh, yeah, next up, just dumbbell tricep extensions. Fancy to do barbell, my elbows weren't having it, so I thought I'll just admit discretion is the better part of valour on that one. Yeah, letting the wrists twist through the set just to find comfortable positions and work all the different lines of tissue. And finishing up with incline power raises. So I'm particularly focusing on getting the lower trap to pull back on the scapula and really feeling the lower trap lengthening on the descent here. Because my right shoulder in particular has had some problems since first ages ago, so this just seems to help a lot with that.